Hello, everyone, and welcome to another installment of our career video library series here with Nevada State College Career Services. Um, as always, my name is Zach Kaczynski. I'm the coordinator of employer relations. Um, today, we're going to be talking a little bit about career opportunities at Credit One Bank, and we are joined today by um, Alicia Lamott. And I will go ahead and let her briefly um, mention what her title is, and then we'll go into the first question, which is um, talking a little bit about uh, Credit One Bank and the uh, mission of the institution or organization. Yes, so thank you, Zach, for having me today. As Zach mentioned, my name is Alicia Lamont. I am a college programs partner with Credit One Bank, and I have been in my role for only a few weeks now. I started with the organization in July, um, and my position really helps to actually connect college students um, like yourself, for those of you watching this, to opportunities at our organization. Awesome, and thank then, you. Oh, yeah, so I was just gonna jump into a little bit about Credit One Bank. So Credit One Bank is a technology and data-driven financial services company offering a full range of consumer credit card products. Um, credit card, Credit One Bank has focused on providing products and services that our customers can count on, and we are committed to providing our millions of card members with credit card products that offer valuable benefits, including cashback rewards and access to their credit score. Um, as far as the culture of the organization, our culture at Credit One Bank revolves around the idea that when we work together as one in the workplace and in the community, we all thrive. So Credit One Bank really um, values each of our employees and we also value the relationship that we have with the community of Las Vegas. Awesome, thank you so much for that. <clears throat> so. Uh, how did you come to work at Credit One Bank? And can you talk a little bit about the path that you took to get to your current position? Yes. So, so I actually, majority of my career has been spent in higher education. I've spent the last nine years of my career in higher education. And my transition to Credit One Bank was actually my first time transitioning to the corporate sector. Um, so this has been very new for me, a very exciting opportunity. Um, in terms of how I came to Credit One Bank, it was actually all through connections and networking. And so when individuals, your professors, your career services counselors tell you to build your network and to maintain relationships, I am a testament that that is can be very beneficial at a time when you least expect it. So my supervisor, Noel Garcia, um, actually worked at Nevada State College as well. She and I were colleagues at Nevada State College and she knew my work ethic and my work product from our time working together as colleagues at Nevada State. And so when she had an opening on her team, I reached out to her to inquire about what was that opening? What did the position entail? More because I was actually intrigued by the position potentially for some of the students that I was currently serving. And she was like, actually, I would really like to talk to you about this position. And I think you would be a great fit. So um, that's how I came to work at Credit One Bank. I think that what I'm learning, especially in the corporate sector, is that maintaining relationships, building a strong network, ensuring that individuals are aware of your work ethic and the product that you put forth as an employee is extremely important. I love that you mentioned that because we, of course, in career services probably sound like a broken record when it comes to networking and how important networking is. So absolutely, you never know when those connections are going to matter in the future. Um, so what sorts of opportunities are available for students and alumni interested in working for Credit One Bank? Yes, that's a great question. So the main um, positions that we currently have that we are promoting are our internship program. So our internship program is brand new. We just had our first cohort this last year, 
and we are excited to have our second cohort starting in the summer of 2022. So for any current students that are interested in a position with Credit One Bank, our internship program would be the best way for them to get involved with us. That position is currently posted on Handshake, so students can learn more about the position through the posting on Handshake. It is for current juniors and seniors. We do ask that students have a minimum of one semester of coursework remaining at the time that they do the internship. So for example, next summer, summer 2022, students will begin the internship program in June and it'll go through August. And so students would need to have at least one semester the fall 2022 semester remaining of coursework to be eligible for the internship program. Through the internship, students get to see our different departments. So our credit risk department, even our IT department, our marketing department, our operations department. There's many other departments that may be involved um, within the program as we continue to build it, but students will get to see those departments. They'll also get to complete group activities and um, group sessions where they will get to network with leadership at our company. And so it's just a really great opportunity for students that um, may not have had any job experience and are looking to build their resume as they get closer to graduation and um, are wanting to make themselves more marketable for full-time employment. Um, I will mention with our internship, we our hope is that we will actually offer those students a part-time job until they graduate. And then as long as it is a good fit with our organization, our plan is to offer our interns a full-time position upon graduation. So it is a really great opportunity for students that are looking to stay in the Las Vegas corporate network um, and that are interested in banking or credit risk or marketing or any of those um, aspects. Other positions that we have in terms of potentially alumni or in um, recent graduates that may not be eligible for the internship program. So we are always looking for entry level talent we recently built a brand new building and uh, Noel and I joke that we have to fill that building. So our recruitment team is working around the clock to get new talent into the company. So I certainly encourage um, any recent graduates or alumni that may be interested in learning more about Credit One Bank and the opportunities we have to visit our careers page and see what entry-level jobs we currently have available because they are always opening on a rotating basis. Um, I also wanted to mention for alumni that may have gone on to pursue their master's degree, we do have some leadership programs that we will be opening up in the summer of 2022. We have a management associates program that is going to be new for any individuals that went on to pursue their MBA. Um, and then we also have um, an information management leadership program for students that may have gone on to get a master's in information um, systems technology, uh, even tech, other tech fields, computer science, those nature. Um, we are excited to build both of those programs and those programs will actually lead to positions at the institution. You will do a rotational two-year program learning about the institution, about the different positions we offer and then go into leadership positions with Credit One Bank. Awesome. Thank you. That sounds like there's a ton of different opportunities for students. That's great. So what are some of the benefits of working for Credit One? I think you touched on this a little bit, but yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you know, we have the usual benefits. Our employees receive generous paid time off um, for vacation, illness, and holidays, especially working in, um, you know, the financial sector. I 
I have heard this is my first time branching over into the financial sector, but oftentimes paid time off is not as generous. And so Credit One Bank is very generous with their paid time off. Um, we do have, you know, the usual 401k program with company match, as well as a variety of choices for health plan coverage. Um, but really and truly, I think the biggest benefit to individuals looking at joining Credit One Bank is as an organization, Credit One is truly committed to professional growth. Um, for each of the employees, they work to recognize employees through awards and incentive programs, as well as advancement opportunities. Um, and so Credit One truly likes to promote internally. So once you have your foot in the door, once you get started, if you want to work hard and you want to work your way up, Credit One Bank values that. And we want to see our talent at the institution grow and become our leaders at our institution. So I think that's a, a really great um, benefit, especially for students that are just graduating and really getting started in their career, there is certainly that opportunity for growth there. Um, in terms of students in the internship program, uh, as I mentioned before, they will actually have the opportunity to network and make connections with Credit One Bank leadership, as well as the opportunity for full-time employment based on performance upon the completion of their internship and graduation. And as we talked about earlier, the importance of building a network, I can't stress enough like how much our interns this last summer truly enjoyed getting to meet our Credit One Bank leadership to actually have meaningful and insightful conversations with them and to be able to talk with them about how they got to where they are in their career and how they built their own career paths, especially as our interns are really, you know, beginning to build their own career path. So that is a really great benefit that we offer for our interns. Awesome, thank you so much. So um, if students are interested, what, what do you look for in qualified candidates for these positions? Yes, that's a great question. So I think that the main thing that we look for, number one, is the willingness to learn and ask questions. We, especially with our internship program, we understand that you may not have any experience and that is okay. Um, as long as you are willing to learn, you're willing to work hard and you're willing to ask questions, those are the individuals that we are looking for. Um, we look for individuals with a positive outlook and personality, um, we, as well as a strong work ethic that I've already mentioned. Um, and then also we would, prefer that students have some type of passion for the industry that we're in. Um, so the financial industry can sometimes be difficult to navigate um, and be a stressful environment. And so if students do have some interest or passion for you know, risk or marketing or the banking industry, um, we certainly see that as a plus as well. Absolutely. So, and if those students are interested, um, how do they apply? And I think you may have mentioned this, but uh, so are there deadlines for these positions and when, around when are those? Yeah, that's a great question. So um, students, current students, uh, juniors and seniors that are interested in the internship opportunity, as I mentioned before, we have posted that position on Handshake. And so the best way to apply for our internship position is to do so through Handshake. Um, we will be reviewing those applications in Handshake first. Um, otherwise, in terms of any of our entry-level positions, I would encourage students to go to Credit One Bank um, Careers, and they will be able to see all of the jobs that are currently posted there. Also on our careers page, 
where students can access a link to our jobs that are currently posted. We will have more information about our management associate program, as well as our um, IMLP program, which is the information management leadership program. And so for alumni that are interested in learning more about those programs, that's the best um, resource to go to there. In terms of uh, deadlines for applying for these programs. We do hope to recruit for our internship as well as our leadership programs in the fall of each year. So our recruitment timeline for our summer programs will usually conclude at the end of October um, each year. And then we will do interviews um, and make offers either end of October or early November. And so if students are applied, or excuse me, if students are interested in applying to any of the internship programs or the leadership programs that we offer, I encourage you, don't wait to apply. Apply now, get your materials reviewed, get your materials ready, um, and go ahead and get that application in because we will be um, reviewing those materials. We'll begin reviewing in October. And like I said, we'll actually hope to offer for the internship and those other programs in November at the latest. So. Awesome. Thank you so much. And so my little uh, bonus question here that I like to ask all the employers I work with, which is, what is a piece of career or life advice that you wish someone had given you when you were a student? I think the biggest piece of advice um, that I wish I had known is it's okay not to know what you want to be when you grow up. Um, I am well into my career and I joke with my partner that um, I still don't know what I want to be when I grow up. Um, I was one of those that I changed my major. I think officially on paper, I changed my major four times in college, um, especially for students that are 18, 19 years old, just out of high school. I think we as a society oftentimes encourage students, you're, you've graduated high school, you're in college now, you're an adult, you're a grown up, figure out what you want to do with your life. And I just want to say, it's okay. While you may feel like an adult, you're still a child. And it's okay to not know what you want to do with your life. It's okay to take opportunities like the internships that we offer at Credit One Bank or even time away to volunteer in your community and to just take opportunities to discover what you're passionate about. Um, you know, it, I explore. And I think oftentimes by connecting to jobs or the community that you live in, you'll discover your passion, which can actually help you succeed in your academics, because then you can tie your academics to something that you know you're passionate about and something that you know that you will succeed and excel in. Absolutely. I couldn't agree more. I think that's a great piece of advice. Um, I think a lot of students think that their career path needs to be linear, right? That it needs to be, you know, follow this very narrow tunnel vision sort of trajectory. But what I hear from pretty much every employer I talk to is that that was not the case for them. And it isn't the case for a lot of different people. So it's okay. You're right. It's okay to not immediately know and to sort of take some time, try different things. You never know what's going to land in your lap that you may end up enjoy doing. So yeah, and enjoy that. living off of you know, mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, aunts, uncles, finances, just a little bit longer. Like you will have time to succeed in your career and to make your own money and all of that. Don't, don't rush growing up and don't feel like you're behind because you don't have your exact path laid out in front of you right now today. Absolutely. So Alicia, thank you so much for your time. Um, my last question I have here is if students have additional questions, how can they reach out to you? Yeah, absolutely. So um, students can email me and reach out to me directly. So um, my email is alicia.lamont 
That's L-A-M-O-T-T-E at creditone.com. And my first name is A-L-I-C-I-A. So alicia.lamont at creditone.com. So if students have questions, please feel free to reach out. You can email me directly. Um, otherwise, I... Um, if students are just looking for general information about Credit One Bank, um, as I mentioned several times in this video, the Credit One Bank Careers page is the best place to start in terms of navigating just what we're about as an organization, as well as the opportunities that we currently have available. Awesome. And I'll make sure that all that information is listed underneath this video as well so that you all can find it. And um, thank you so much, Alicia, again, for your time. I had a great time talking with you. Um, and students, if you're interested in more of these videos, please check out some of the other recordings I have with other employers. If you want to apply to this position and you maybe need a little bit of guidance, feel free to make an appointment with our office at calendly.com slash NSC career. We can help you make a resume, help you with your cover letter, anything like that. We can help you um, prepare. So please reach out to us. So Alicia, thank you so much and please enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you, Zach. Have a great day.